and then there's no value here, so I'll just use the null value, which is, you know, zero. So it would say um, item cost times the quantity would be zero times zero, then add on the tax, which would be zero, because it wouldn't be able to calculate the 15.5% um, the of zero, because, you know, that's zero. Can you even do percentage of zero? Or 15.5% of zero is 15.5 times zero anyway, isn't it? So that would, um, yeah, that would equal zero. So you'd get the value zero when actually you might have had perfectly fine values where it would normally have worked. So for that reason, function scope, or scope in general, I keep saying function scope, but scope applies to, um, for instance, scope also applies between pages. If you declare a variable, the variable my var equal to five in index.php, if you then go into um, about.php and try and use my var, my var, the my var variable before you um, declare it in that page, it will go undefined variable because variables don't pass over from page to page. Okay, and that's another instance of scope. Um, this is just. It might seem like this is different, but this is in fact the same. If you imagine that a function is essentially um, a separate file, you don't pass, uh, you don't get values between two files, do you? Like we just talked about. So effectively, it's the same thing, and that's uh, scope for you. Now, just another example. Um, it's a two-way street, so maybe variables can't that have been declared can't be. Uh, out, sorry, declared outside can't be used inside. Variables that have been declared inside can't be used outside. So here, we um, just to make you guys sure, I'll call create var here. Yeah, there we go. Um, so here, create var makes the variable a var, and then it sets it equal to hello. Now this is a really good example of another thing about functions. Um, that is, when the function goes into the body, it says, okay, while I'm in this function, forget. by the way, um, it's only while you're in the function that it forgets about all the other variables that have been outside. Once it gets out of the function, it remembers all of them again, okay? So when it gets in here, it's like, okay, forget about all these um, outside variables that have been declared so far. For now, I'm just gonna focus on only the stuff that's inside this function. And it says, okay, I've, uh, hit a uh, declaration, declare a var equal to hello, and then uh, it gets to the closing curly brace, and it's like, okay, now I'm going, whoops, sorry, put it behind my head by accident there, uh, okay, now I'm going outside the function, um, and I now need to forget about everything I created inside the function, and what essentially happens is it deletes those variables. So once it gets out of the function, it deletes those variables, and those are now non-existent, okay? Um, actually, I used another analogy in my C++ tutorials uh, when talking about functions. As you should imagine that um, the main page, the actual page, is a, a pen of sheep, and each sheep is a variable and then each function has its own pen and so when you call the function you go into that pen um, of sheep and now it it's um, the f you know the farmer goes from one pen to another and now the farmer's only concerned about the sheep inside that pen which in this case would be the function and then once he goes out once he goes back into the original pen um, he's you know fr I don't know he says all those sheep are worthless now uh, and shoots them or something uh, I don't know, <laughs> something cruel, I guess, huh? Uh, but anyway, and now they don't exist anymore. Uh, and for that reason, even if we call create var, what should really happen, or what we think will happen is, a var will be created, and even after a, uh, create var is finished, we can still use a var because it's been declared. But what happens is it goes into create var, creates the variable, then hits the end, destroys it, and now it's after the semicolon, and it's hitting this thing, and it's like, a var, wait a minute, that wasn't declared, um, because in this pen, there is no a var sheep, whereas in the other pen, there may have been, but when he came out, um, the the sheep were killed. Uh, and don't mis uh, misinterpret that as just because he came out the pen and went into the other pen, the sheep from the the function pen still exist. They're just not in this main pen, so they can't be used. Those sheep are actually destroyed and killed, okay? 
So uh, for that reason, if we call the function again, um, it would recreate, well it wouldn't recreate, it would just create, because in its mind, a var never existed, because it was destroyed. It would create the variable, then destroy it, then create it, then destroy it, then create, then destroy it, then create, and then, then destroy, you know, and so on. Um, and so, for that reason, variables can't, that were declared inside a function can't be used outside, and vice versa, you know, using the, the sheep pen analogy, okay. I'm pretty proud of that one actually, I think it's a pretty good analogy. But anyway, let's look at the results of this. Again we get an unde undefined variable avar in, on line 34. We go to 34, there we go, echo avar, which is non-existent because we didn't declare it outside the function. Okay, so that concludes this tutorial. Um, next we'll be looking at parameters and arguments and all that good stuff. Anyways, for now guys, over and out.